Richie Wheeler. I'm a writer. I like crocheting. Kittens. Silent films about trees. I made us a mixtape. Awesome. Skatelands is focused around our lead character who is being pushed out of his job. His family's falling apart. You're not the only one in this house with, with stress and a busy schedule. Well, you brought that on yourself. And even like then, that. he's trying to hold on to stay in East Texas, even though he's brilliant. I filled out a couple of applications for you. Do you have time to go over them? No. Not right now. You know, he's worked at Skateland for four years. He's 19. He loves it. It's been a huge part of his life. He kind of uses it as a crutch not to have to get too serious about going to college or getting a, a, a career job. Skateland's a metaphor for Richie's life. Times are coming to an end. You know, it's time to move on. I know you like this place, but you ain't gonna be sticking around here much longer. Skateland closing is one of the best things that's ever happened to you. Richie's grown up with this girl who's a neighbor, and Michelle, she's one of his best friends. They talk about anything. He's probably more comfortable with her than he is with anybody else. Maybe it's time for a change. Yeah. They really, really care about each other. They grew up together and they know everything about each other. And he happens to be best friends with my brother as well. Right here. Ah! 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 Who's the king? Who's the king, Richie Rich? Ah! You are, okay? You're the king. Yes. Ah. I think Brent just kind of expects still just to, you know, have a good time. You know, because he's really good at it. Sometimes when I'm driving, I see two headlights coming toward me fast. I have this sudden impulse to swerve the wheel onto the oncoming car. I can anticipate the explosion, the sound of shattering glass, the flames rising out of the flowing gasoline. I'm damned. But he is a failure to, to certain aspects, but he doesn't really look at himself as that because everyone still looks up to him so much. I missed you, man. I missed you. Kenny's a happy-go-lucky party guy. <laughs> It's pretty easy to get in character when everything looks like 1983. We're all cruising over to Dairy Queen. No thanks. Michelle really likes him. You know, she she hasn't necessarily said it, but there's, you know, he should have picked up on it. You still have my skate land essay? Yeah, I love that. Throughout the film, you can see Michelle pushing him and, and you know, telling him, striving for him to do better and really kind of rooting for him. You have no idea what you want. Maybe if you and Brent drive around for a couple more years and drink a few more beers, something will come to you. Everything is kind of making him rethink, you know, his original kind of position in life. The Richie Wheeler character is a writer, introvert, trying to figure out what's next without ever having a conversation about it, always acting like everything's okay. But inside, you're always questioning yourself. I don't know what I'm doing. Ever since I woke up this morning, I've been walking around feeling like I'm somebody else. It's a coming of age story, and it's stuff that everyone goes through. And then, of course, the 80s aspect of it. I don't know when I'll get to do an 80s film ever again. End of an era. Something like that. It's been a really fun thing to film. Hopefully, the younger audience will see an era that they've never seen before or didn't know what it was like. As far as the people that grew up during this time period, it's going to be very nostalgic. At the same time, it's going to be very cinematic and real.